Hi everyone! Today we are going to do a lesson about King Solomon and this is in 1st Kings chapter 4 verse 26 through 34 so get your Bibles out and turn over to 1st Kings chapter 4. All right so before we start we're going to go ahead and pray. Bow your heads, cross your hands, Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for this time that we get to spend in your word. Lord, help us to have fun learning about you and animals. Oh, one of my favorite subjects, Lord. Lord, just help us to have fun with this. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so like I said in the prayer, we are going to learn a little bit about King Solomon and we are going to learn about animals a little bit. So first, let's do our memory verse for this week. Did you hear that? That's my animals. I have three dogs and they are barking and it's going to get wild because somebody just came over. Okay, so anyway, our memory verse. God made, see all the animals? God made the animals. And this is in Genesis chapter 1 verse 25. And do you see that's a cow? I am not very good at drawing, so you have to use your imagination. All right, so we are talking about King Solomon, and he was a really good king. He was a king over Israel, and he was very good, and he loved God, and he asked God for wisdom, and God gave him wisdom. So he had wisdom and understanding, and he just, his God made his heart big so he can love all the land and the people and um, the animals. Oh my gosh, do you know that King Solomon had over 40,000 stalls of horses? That's a lot of horses. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of horses, right? So, anyway, so because God gave him gave King Solomon wisdom, he was wiser than any other man in the world. And so people would come from all over the earth and they would just want to hear him talk about the trees and the land and all the different things that God made and the animals. He would talk about the fish and he would talk about the birds and all those little creepy crawly animals. Oh, I don't like those ones as much. So, Solomon even had ships go out and they would bring him back gold and silver and they would bring him monkeys. Oh, 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 oh. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Can you be a monkey? Do, oh, 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 oh. Do monkey. Oh my gosh, you guys are good monkeys. Oh my gosh, he would bring monkeys and apes and he would bring uh, they would bring mules. There's a dog. Did you see that dog? Oh my gosh, there's dogs everywhere right here. And so he even had horses brought over from Egypt. Do you know that we can learn all about the animals that God made? Do you know there are over 300 different kinds of horses? That's a lot of different kinds of horses. And so, they, you know, horses are used for like transportation all different things they can they can pull things they can carry things you can even put like a chariot or like a wagon on them and then they can they can walk and carry them they're so heavy right but horses were made very strong so they can help us uh, do you know what they eat horses eat grass hay but also apples and carrots. I like apples and I like carrots. Do you like those? <laughs> They're so good. So God also made birds. And what do we know about birds? They have feathers. And they also are made with some special things like hollow bones to make them light so they can fly. But do you know that not all birds fly? God makes some that don't even fly. There's like penguins and they swim, right? And they walk funny. Can you walk like a penguin? <laughs> and also like an ostrich, you know, a big ostrich. They're so big and they run super fast. Do you know an ostrich can run faster than a horse? It can. 
so fast. So then God also made a fish. Do you know anything about fishes? The fish live in the water and they have gills. And do you know what the gills do? Gills help them to breathe the water. They get the oxygen out of the water so they can breathe under the water. I wish I had gills. I'd go swimming. And do you know what they eat? Fish eat different plants and algae, but they also eat, some of them will eat other fish and animals like a, a shark. <laughs> That's right. Sharks do that, right? Do you guys like sharks? They have a lot of teeth and they're a little bit scary, but they're really neat. So today we are going to do a craft where we make our handprint into a horse and we're going to see how this goes. So the first thing you need is a construction paper, any color. I'm going to use a lighter color today and I'll just use the back of my fish <laughs> and you need some paint. So it's going to be tickly. Are you ready to be tickly? This is to wipe off my hand after because it's going to be messy. All right, so I'm going to use yellow paint, which means I'm going to use a green paper so that way you can see it better. And a paintbrush. And I'm going to paint my hand. So I'm going to put some paint on my hand. Have your parents help you with this. And we're going to put paint on our hand. Just all over. Oh, that is tickly and cold and wet. Oh my goodness. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our hand and we are going to make our handprint on the paper. So just right in the middle, put your hand down, pull it up. There's my handprint. Okay, so now I'm going to wipe my hand off because that is very messy. Woohoo! Okay, and then you can wash your hands. I'll wash my hands after the video. Whoa, the wind was taking away my hand print. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take another color and we are going to, <laughs> we are going to paint hair on our horses because they have what's called a mane and that is their hair on the top and it comes out so we're going to do that and then what else does a horse have a tail horses have a tail so we are going to take our handprint and we are going to have it upside down so our fingers are pointing down those are the horsey legs and then we're going to put on the thumb print, we are going to give him hair. I'll show you here in just a second. You can use crayons if you want to have more control over your horsey. And then we're going to give him a smile because he's going to be smiling. There's his head. It's not very good, but it's a horse. Here, we'll even make the mane go out further because then it will look more like a horse, huh? Okay, and then we're also going to give them little hooves because horses have hooves on the bottom of their hands, right? And that helps them walk on harder stuff that we need shoes for. There's the hooves. What's he missing? A tail! Oh, let's give him a very good tail. Let's make it go all the way down. Oh yeah, that's a good tail. Let me show you his tail. What do you think of that? So there's our horse. Well, I hope you guys had a really good time. Let's pray and then we'll close. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for all the animals and all the little creatures in the world that you gave us to explore and to learn about. Lord, thank you for King Solomon that he was so wise and he had such a good kingdom because he loved you. Lord, I pray that we have wisdom to have fun and to learn and to just enjoy the things that you gave us to enjoy. In Jesus' name, amen.